Libra, it's me Stormy and here's your horoscope for April 2018 and Libras, you asked and I heard you and now there is a summer session. There are actually two summer sessions for the Astrology 101 class. There's an AM and a PM session. All of those details are in the description box down below so let's not waste time with that. Let's get to this forecast. So <laughs> Libra, you have got Saturn over here rocking and working through this third house and it's going to continue to work this month, but you also get a little bit of relief as we get later in the month and Saturn takes a retrograde. A big thing that I think is on the table for you, especially right now, Libra, especially since you've spent the last couple of years really finding your voice, finding your feet, all of these things, is that Mercury is retrograde in the sign of Aries, which is your opposite, so it's in the seventh house. Relationships are on the table. Libra, I wouldn't even be surprised if you had some old love or some old love interest, even for some of you, an old friendship come back into your life and you're trying to reevaluate what to do with it right now. One of the other things you could also be re-looking over is your one-on-one -on -one relationship with yourself. But I really feel like for so many of you, even if it's just in a dream or in a memory, some person from your past has come back and now you're in a position to consider what to do with that. Now, Mercury retrograde has helped us rethink, re-edit, re-evaluate, re-commune, right? Reunion here. Now, just because something has come back doesn't mean that it needs to stay. We need to evaluate. But while Mercury is retrograde, allow some things in. Allow yourself to experience what's coming back to you because as we move forward with the month, you'll be able to gain some more clarity and over the next five months, you will certainly suss out the details of what's really going on. Now, for some of you, this person came back and it's absolutely going to just stick like glue. You're both more mature. It's ready to work. And that we know because Mars and Saturn start out the month here on the second in a conjunction with each other. So sharing energy, right? Now, typically these two can be a lot to handle together, but in the sign of Capricorn, they're doing something. They want to take action. They want to achieve and it's in your fourth house. So for some of you Libras, you may be looking to reset your physical home structure. Someone's moving in, right? We're ready to expand this home. We're ready to change it in some way, shape, or form. Home, family, real estate, property is what the fourth house is about. Now for some of the rest of you, this could just be a place of resetting that internal emotional structure as well. But whatever is happening here, you want to achieve, you want to move forward and you're going to have the effort. Now, between the fourth and the fifth of the month, you're going to experience Mercury, who's retrograde over here in relationships, coming into a square, a hard aspect, with this Mars-Saturn conjunction. Now, a square says, boom, I want your attention. I want action right now. So you're going to take action. It's going to spark and response from you in some way, shape, or form. Now, what I love about this is that what it's actually trying to do is spark you in motion, spark your determination, spark your action to get to whatever the goal is. But what it can feel like is a little depressing, a little bit heavy, sometimes a little bit angry. But ultimately, what this combination of energy is saying is grow up, take an action to move in a way that fulfills you. Don't settle, right? grow up. So it's a wonderful energy. It continues to be supported over here on the 14th by Jupiter, who's over here in Scorpio, in a sextile to Pluto, who's also in Capricorn, over here in your fourth house. Now, when the planets have sex, that's good for us. So a sextile tells us in aspect that it's a talent or an opportunity, and you will intelligently make use of it, right? So whatever's happening here in this big, beautiful reset, your values and your home life are successfully coming together. If you will take action, tell the truth, speak up with that big voice you've been developing, you can create a space that has so much value to you. At the same time, you don't have to force it. Like I said, it's a delicious energy. You could also have an investment property coming in. Maybe you have a rental and you finally get a renter. Whatever it is, this home zone is definitely gonna be success. There's some success coming out of it for sure. Now on the 15th, we see Mercury coming direct. So it's going to still be here in the sign of Aries in the seventh house and then sharing space um, in the days to come here with that new moon happening in Aries as well. So the seventh house is just lit up for you with new beginnings, new interactions, new relationships, and they're chosen one-on-one -on -one relationships. So if you're looking for a business partnership, you want to get married, you want to commit, 
any of these kinds of one-on-one -on -one relationships, you've had all of this time to reevaluate them. Now things can start moving forward and you can see the direction that they're going to go as well as invite new ones in. On the 17th, Saturn's going to go retrograde. On the 22nd, Pluto is going to go retrograde. And while these are subtle energies, they will be retrograde until September in your fourth house. But what's going to happen is they are retrograde still. We get to re, re-look at, recreate, revise, re-edit, rethink. And with Saturn pulling a little bit of pressure off of restructuring this home zone, your values, things like that, it kind of gives you a space to breathe and it gives you a space to get some really rewarding insight on what Saturn has shown you, right? He says, okay, I bust in here, direct, show you the cracks in the foundation that you have. Now you need a plan to revise those so that we can achieve success, right? And Pluto's doing the same thing, except for Pluto saying, I've showed you what needs to die off so that you can live healthfully, right? Saturn wants you to clear out those old hurts, those old fights, those old relationships, those old beliefs, those old ideas, clean house. That's what you're doing over the next five months. That's why I say don't be in a rush with any of these relationships or anything like that. They will play out. You're gathering the information you need, but know that none of this is going to move forward if you're still carrying the old baggage that has risen to the surface. We all have baggage. We just need you to get rid of what Saturn and Pluto have already shown you. On the 19th, the sun is going to move with Venus into Taurus, which is beautiful. Venus has been hanging out here in the 8th house, really helping this dynamic of joint interactions, whether it be taxes, finances, romance, um, any of those joint kind of connections. Now, the sun's bringing some vitality here. And what I love about this for you, Libra, is again, with that big voice, you get to start speaking up for, does this make me feel alive? Am I willing to share intimacy? Um, Maybe your partner's monies are starting to come through where they're spending money on you. Um, you come into a collaboration. Somebody wants to sponsor you from YouTube. Whatever it is, the intimacy and joint connection house is going to take an upgrade here. On the 24th, Venus moves over into Gemini. And for you, this is so beautiful because it brings harmony to the faith space, right? If you're going to expand in these new relationships, you've got to have a crap ton of faith, right? So you need some harmony. You need some beauty. You need some safety to know that it's okay to take that next big leap. At the same time, if you're writing a book, publishing, studying, Venus is bringing that little drip of sweet magnetic honey to make this a very attractive proposition to be putting out and expanding into the world. On the 29th, we've got the full moon happening at six degrees of Scorpio in a positive, beautiful aspect to a Sun-Saturn trine. So this is great energy for getting things done, that deep house cleaning I was talking about, um, looking deeper at some things. Scorpio energy for you, the full moon says we have to end something, acknowledge something, or adjusting uh, just something is going to be happening in your second house. Now, sometimes with a full moon happening in the second house, we can see finances drying up for about four weeks or something like that, or it feels like they have come to a crawl. But I'm feeling like this sun Saturn trying that's going to be happening here is actually maybe going to help prevent that a little bit and instead helps you to see where you need to create some vital structure in this area. Are you sitting on a talent that you're not using? Do you have a new product that you want to launch? Do you have things that maybe it's time to actually just get rid of physical things, Libra, because it's okay to let some things go. You got to let that stuff go so that the new stuff can definitely come in. This is um, in regards to your things and to your relationships this month as well. So it's going to be a really interesting month. I'm looking forward to Libra seeing what your truth is about the relationships that are presented or represented to you. So keep me posted in the comment section down below. All right, guys, like this video, comment, share, subscribe, and I will see you next month. Bye.